Good evening, you sexy sons of bitches. I am the Rockabilly Rambler. This is take three. My phone just took a massive shit. I'm out here hanging out with my doggos. Look at this cutie. I've been painting the house. I painted all of the uh, overhang. I painted the porch. All HVLP gun. I ain't messing with no paint brushes. Uh, I got me some of this. Glidden Premium Exterior Paint by PPG Paints. But I want to do a real quick uh, update on the Gringo. I don't remember I told you guys I didn't have money to finish stripping the body. I was between Harbor Freight, Polycarbide Wheels, and Black & Decker. Polycarbide Wheels, uh, Black & Decker is a little bit better. Harbor Freight's garbage. But I ended up finding one. Uh, it's orange. And it's like $15, $16 at Lowe's. Kind of expensive. More than the Norton Abrasives Blue Rapid Strip Wheel. Um, but it was here. It was local. And I, I had to do it to him. I finished shaving the door handles on this side. You can see grinder marks. Uh, it looks, it's got a much different texture. There's a little bit, there's a few pinholes, but I'm not really going to sweat it. Um, uh, it's just, I don't have a good welder, and my welder warps the living piss out of this thin sheet metal. Um, yeah. I was trying to engine turn it, the whole surface. I bought the two inch abrasive pads it's not really working out the brush looks a lot better but it's starting to rust in a couple of spots uh, originally i had intended to let it rust all out and then throw clear coat over the rust i think that looks amazing um <clears throat> that's a time consuming project and it's risky uh so i i kind of dig the way it looks right now um, I might get a flap sander and do some grinder art and just send it with clear coat. Might even throw some glitter over some regular clear coat. But my second plan was to engine turn the whole thing, go with a round pad, small round pad, and do a circular pattern all around the body and then throw green candy apple over the bare metal with the engine turned. Um, haven't done the trunk. And haven't done the bumpers because it's plastic, like I said. But from the back, I'm not going to show you guys a shot of the back. I am not, don't want to show my lens plate. But um, it looks really stock and really normal from the back. The car doesn't look so wild from the back end. I think that's a good thing. Uh, around here, it's some really safe neighborhoods. Cops don't have much to do. We don't have high crime. Uh, we don't have, like, sketchy drug neighborhoods. Um, the cops have nothing better to do than to fuck with people that have custom cars and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I think leaving the back stockish looking is good for right now. Uh, the rear is slammed, as you can see, as about slammed as it will go. You can see there's still a lot of ground clearance in the back. So it looks pretty stock from the back. Uh, gonna leave it like that. <clears throat> Me and my cousin were out at the bar trying to get a drink and there was this punk kid with his vest and all his buttons and his greasy hair and I saw him from a mile away and I was like, this fucking guy knows, this guy's cool, I, I kind of want to party with this guy and uh, I didn't say anything, we walked past each other and later on go to find out he's hanging out by the car, checking it out, he's like, what even is this and I got a little butt hurt because he figured it out, um, that's why we don't have a grill anymore. The grill's the only part with a badge. The trunk is shaved. Uh, so I think this gave it away. So we're going to take this off. We're not going to rock the grill anymore. Uh, it's time for a custom grill anyway. But that would involve uh, deleting the bumper, deleting the headlights, uh, mounting uh, like 7-inch round headlights in those holes, uh, shaving it all shut and Frenching the headlights in. I think that would look really cool. I want to do this something similar with the back. Uh, originally, I intended to have a flip-up bench for storage. There's no room in there. I can't engineer it. Uh, the foam is actually pretty rigid stuff. And it's just not going to be convenient. So I just went ahead and bolted it down because it was loose. And when I would take a curve too hard, uh, the plywood would fall off the steel frame and I would go through the bottom of the seat. Pretty sketchy. I'm really tall. It's not really a problem, but it's kind of sketchy. I threw an inverter in there. 400 watt Harbor Freight. Special. 
and I threw in some Christmas lights on the roll cage. Uh, this isn't gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave this sagging like this, but uh, wow. it was really dark in there, and I, obviously the dome lights went with the original roof. So uh, this is a really cool dome light. It lights up the car really well, and I think when we're at a car show or maybe even a cruise, I think it's gonna look really sick. I obviously need to finish grinding this. I'll probably knock that out today, but I'm gonna get back to work now. Um, yeah, we need to finish up these porches. Yeah, rusty. Uh, a little bit of surface rust, goddammit. Alright. I will catch you dogs later.